We wanted an experience that we were not finding anywhere else. That we were not finding anywhere else. Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. Oh, banana! We may as well kick off this video with footage of me opening loot boxes because if we're perfectly honest that's the entire point of this fucking game is to just sit there opening little chests all day long. What went wrong with Bethesda? What happened? What exactly happened? First Fallout 76 and now this. Just a monument to greed. Todd Howard in all of his grandeur said that at its heart Elder Scrolls Blades is a pure Elder Scrolls game. It's not. It's not. It's a free-to-wait game. It's the kind of cynicism I expect from Electronic Arts. They did, after all, bring out the notoriously awful, the notoriously avaricious Dungeon Keeper Mobile. And while this game is nowhere near as egregious as Electronic Arts' disgusting release... Ugh. Ugh, EA's disgusting release. That made my skin crawl. Anyway, it shares a lot of DNA with EA's famous free-to-wait game in that it's based predominantly on waiting. Your reward for doing things in the game is timers. Not rewards. They come after the timers. You perform a task, you earn a reward, and your job after that is to sit and wait. Or, of course, you could pay the premium currency, gems, to speed things along. Speed almost anything along, actually. Uh, because otherwise you wait around for things, like we're waiting here for something to be built. Uh, that was 30 seconds. That was actually uh, a generous one, because this is just part of a quest introducing building things. Um, but otherwise it is waiting around... Watching timers go down, opening boxes over and over again, even the shitty little loot boxes that they throw at you in piles has at least a little weight. And that's where I find this truly, truly fucking slimy, is that even the basic loot box has a five second wait time. Not long enough to be truly mind-numbingly boring, but just enough, because the game gives you plenty of these boxes to annoy you. And you can pay one little gem, just one of their premium currency to open it. So if they, if you've waited on opening your freebie loot boxes, and you've got uh, just five of them, say, that's five times, five seconds, sat there, waiting, doing nothing, and on your fifth loot box, even me, even someone like me who hates the fucking things, that little, just one little gem, just tap it and you don't have to wait every time you open one of these things. Because yeah, five seconds don't seem like long, does it? But then it adds up. And then it adds to the loot boxes that take three hours to open. Why not? And remember, these are rewards you've earned, allegedly, for having played the game. So you play the game and then you've got to wait up to hours for things to open. For fuck's sake. Anyway, the game itself is not, as Todd Howard said, a pure Elder Scrolls experience. It's not a pure experience. It's an insultingly streamlined one. You don't really feel like there's a big world to explore. You feel like you go through corridor after corridor, engaging in a combat system that wishes it was Infinity Blade, but didn't want to rip off Infinity Blade, so it just does it worse. It just does that not quite turn-based, but sort of turn-based combat, where you stand still looking at an enemy who also stands still just looking at you, and then you take turns bapping each other with a big stick. Look, more boxes. I was deliberately quiet for five seconds there, 
because five seconds of dead air actually feels like a fairly lengthy period of time. All for an iron ingot and a death bell. Because let's not forget, the, the freebie loot boxes contain almost exclusively rubbish. If you actually want boxes with real rewards, then well, you know exactly where to look, don't you? The ones that cost, and the ones that take ages to open. This game is bollocks, by the way. It's in early access, I should point out, <laughs> but it's still bollocks. What's a fucking free-to-play mobile game doing in early access anyway? Fuck off. Fuck off, you idiots. It's insulting, and it is so greedy. Like, I, thought, I, I plan to talk more about the game itself, but there's not much to talk about. It's rubbish. And it's slowed down here at no, for no reason. If you're wondering why the frame rate dipped here, that's just part of the game. But it's in early access, so maybe they fix that there. But yeah, yeah, I was going to talk about the game. There's, there's just not a lot to talk about. You know, walk around, smash a pot, pick things up, gather items for the sake of gathering items, play it for the sake of playing it. Doesn't feel like there's any justifiable ends to work towards. It's just a waste of time. And it's dull. And it's dreary. It's okay to play if you've got literally nothing going on. If nothing's going on in your life and the world, then this might be worth playing. You can play it landscape and portrait. It's actually, I prefer it in portrait. I've, I've done it in landscape here just for the sake of video. Um, but everything's just a little bit more compact in portrait and, and just feels better. Um, I don't even know if I'm, 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 I'm sure you can play combat better than this, by the way, but I just don't care. It's, I was just, it's so crushingly dull. It is useful if you are, you say you're in my position where you were not sure what film to watch last night. And even though there are so many good ones you've been planning to watch, you've convinced yourself you're not in the mood to watch those yet. So you put the Bye Bye Man on. That's what I did last night. A film more boring than this, which made this more engrossing in comparison. So, the ideal way to play The Elder Scrolls Blades, which let's not forget, is a pure, at its heart, a pure Elder Scrolls game. If you play the Bye Bye, if you watch the Bye Bye Man and then play this, then that's the ideal situation to play, basically that's what I'm talking about, that's, that, that's what I'm driving at, uh, there's a store, it's like any old mobile store, That that's why I, rem I, I keenly remembered, I can't remember important life events, but I can remember almost a year ago Todd Howard saying that this game was something you couldn't experience anywhere else, I'm paraphrasing, it's what he said at the beginning of this video, uh, an experience unlike any other, a pure Elder Scrolls game, and, and it's this, it's this, this is, this lies at the heart of the Elder Scrolls, does it, golden chest, 5 hours 59 minutes, I underestimated earlier, it's 6 hours, there are these chests that take five hours to open, and Bethesda, uh, as part of the early access updates, have, they very generously reduce that to an hour, and they reduce the cost of gems that you spend to open. It's always gems, isn't it? Not always, like in The Simpsons tapped out, it's donuts, but it's often gems, isn't it? Um, you can see on this screen, um, there is a limit to the amount of boxes you can have at any given time. So if you've got, you know, 10 fucking six hour chests for some reason you're gonna have to open one to make room for others again it it doesn't seem like much but it all adds on to everything else with your wait times to build things there's a whole uh, township building aspect to this which again is just timers and materials and gold and it's just constant gathering of shit um, so yeah, we've got a limit on the amount of boxes you can have. Uh, you got your gems, you got your gold, so you've got your, what I always call the bullshit currency and the real currency. The gold is, the gold's there to shower you in riches to make you feel like you've got an investment in the game. It's, this is what free-to-play mobile games do, especially the ones that I call free-to-wait, where it's free to get in and then you just, you know, sit on your ass. Um, they shower you with that to falsify a sense of sunk cost fallacy. Um, in the, while you're not spending money, ideally, and thinking, you know, that's where the, the cost is being sunk, 
you're like, well, I've put so much into this game and I've been given so much by this game. You know, 53 gems seems like a lot. It's not enough to open one of these chests. And the gold is there. You know, I've got 7,000 gold. Huh? Huh? It's not that far into this game. To have 7,000 gold that far into a real Elder Scrolls game would be amazing. But, uh, no. It accumulates because there's not nowhere near as much to do with it as the real currency. That's the point. To trick you into thinking you've earned things. It's got all of the hallmarks of a dodgy, sleazy, free-to-play mobile game. Because it is a dodgy, sleazy, free-to-play mobile game. Greed has seeped into every aspect of the Elder Scrolls Blades. They've got an opportunity to sell you something at any turn. It gives you pop-ups here and there to tell you about packs that you can buy in the store. It's... This is one of those games, and there are many games that do this now, especially on mobile, that reminds me of that episode of The Office where Dwight opened a theme park in the parking lot and called it Hay Place. And then Angela, the, another character, said that Hay Place should be called Pay Place because every little aspect is charged. Every little aspect is premium. Everything you pay for once you get in. Uh, and, and that's what these games are, and that's what The Elder Scrolls ba Blades is. More like The Elder Scrolls Pades, I guess. It's cynical, it's exploitative, it's predatory, it's lazy. It's just another mobile game, and shame on Bethesda trying to tell us it was a unique experience, because there's nothing unique about this. It's just another game industry shakedown.